Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper IP version 6 Lab 2. In this lab, we're going to take a look at Routing Information Protocol Next Generation, otherwise known as RIPNG. Specifically, we're going to look at the basics of RIPNG. We're going to set RIPNG up on all three of these routers in our network diagram. We're going to do some show commands then for verification. We're going to advertise our loopbacks into RIPNG. So the first thing I want to do is just go over the basics of our network topology. We have three routers, router 1, 2, and 3. We have configured everything under the interface except for the IPv6 addresses. So we have our peer unit defined within our logical tunnel. We have the encapsulation as frame relays, what we're using in this lab. We have our DELCs configured. So I wanted to go over the IPv6 addressing with you. So we're going to set up our link local, our FE80 IPv6 addresses, and our unicast global IP addresses as well. So that's the first step we're going to do. If you're not familiar with what we are using, we are using logical systems. So within one physical Juniper router, we have three virtual routers, router 1, 2, and 3. They're all connected via logical tunnels and we have to find all logical tunnels equal lt-120.xx what that means is for instance on our connection from router 2 to router 3 the what we show in our network diagram is lt.23 and that is actually lt-120.23 logical systems allow us to practice and break up our physical Juniper router into virtual routers and connect them together using logical tunnels. And in this lab we're going to be we're going to show you how to set up I or I'm sorry, we're going to show you how to set up RIP NG using a logical systems and logical tunnels implementation. So our IPv6 addressing is as follows. The network between router 1 and 2 is 2001 12 12 12 double colon forward slash 64. And the network between router 2 and router 3 is 2001 23 23 23 double colon forward slash 64. Router 1 has a loopback 0 0.1 interface in which it has the 2001 111 double colon 1 forward slash 64 address. Router 2 has a loopback 0 0.2 with the 2001-222 double colon 2 forward slash 64. And Router 3 has a loopback 0 0.3 with the IPv6 address of 2001-333 double colon 3 forward slash 64. Our link local IPv6 addressing is as follows. Router 1 for all of its interfaces we have configured FE80 double colon 1 forward slash 64. Router 2 for all of its interfaces we are using FE80 double colon 2 forward slash 64 and router 3 is FE80 double colon 3 forward slash 64. So the first thing we want to do is get all of our IPv6 addressing set up. Like I said before we have some some stuff already configured we go to router one and do a show.